Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, let's understand how to use PRJ folder. So let me quickly jump into PowerPoint. And let's go to the first slide and let me press F5 to expand it to full screen and also disable the presenter view. Okay, let's get started. So let's understand what is PRJ folder and contents of the PRJ folder and how to create the PRJ folder. So let's look at the first one. What is PRJ folder? For version control, version control is key for any development environment. Every click view document can be saved into several files like XML and text files. All the properties of the ClickView document, sheets, and every object are stored in the XML files. Every time the document is opened and an object is created or changed, then these changes are saved, making it easy to follow the changes made in the document. So it's possible to see who made the changes to the application or the document. And remember, PRJ folders will not have the underlying data. Let's look at the contents of PRJ folder. We'll have all properties.xml and then we have document properties.xml and we have doc internals.xml. We have top layout.xml and then we have load script.xml. I'm sorry, we have load script.txt and we have module.txt. And apart from that, we'll also have sheet objects on each sheet. So if we create a list box, there are properties related to your list box. So we have list box properties, multi box properties, table box properties, and button properties. So every object you create will have the properties. So let's quickly look at the demo on how to create the PRJ folder. So let me come out of PowerPoint and let me jump to click view. And I have a simple application here. This is a sample test application. And uh, if you see, I've saved this application. Let me close this pop up. And if you see, I've closed this application in the video tutorial 67 folder, which is there on my desktop. So let me save it again. Save it again. And if I go to the folder, okay. Now, if, if you wanted the PRJ folder, all you have to do is create a folder with the same name. So let me create a new folder and say QV underscore test hyphen PRJ. And then now let me go back to the application and let me do a save as and overwrite the same file. And let, let's go back to the desktop again to the same folder. Now let's open the PRJ folder and you will see all the properties, the stuff I'm talking about earlier. Okay, now let's open CH09. And as I mentioned earlier, this is in XML format, but you will see complete properties of this object, which is our pivot table. So for example, to track the changes, if I've changed the caption name here from test to new test and save this, Let's go back to the XML file and now let's refresh this page and you will see new test here. So it was test earlier, now it's new test. So all the properties here are saved in the XML file. So it's pretty straightforward to create the PRJ folder. I hope you'll find this video useful. I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day where I ask ClickView questions and you can answer them to assess your ClickView knowledge. You would see instant results and also you can compare the results with other developers and designers. 
thank you for watching have a good day cheers